Now, perfume in a bottle is okay, but how about real perfume in the scent of double lavender? Grab yourself a nice big pot, and I would suggest with our collection of plants, you need a fair amount of sunshine. First up, right smack in the middle, this beautiful double lavender lavish. Two different shades. I rather like this dark pink one. And then surround it with all of these herbs. Now, the rosemary's great. Get the one that cascades. I think it looks better in a pot like this. Now, oregano comes in a lot of different types. This little variegated one is just beaut. It's also a little ground cover. And how about some golden marjoram? Tastes great, looks great, and really gives a bit of pop of colour. And maybe this beautiful big mature thyme, which you can get those at your nursery too, will pop him just at the front. How unique does that look as a Valentine's Day gift? And it's going to get even better with these perfumes and the scents and the aromas over time. Strawberries and chocolates are definitely a given for Valentine's, but how about we grow them into a tower of deliciousness? You won't believe how easy this is. Firstly, you need three different pots because we're going to stack them up nice and high and fill them full of these beauties. Oh, yes. But not only that, we're going to add some beautiful chocolate mint. Chocolate and strawberries living in your garden. Now, that's a gift. Start with a mixture of seedlings and larger plants around the outside of the biggest pot. And then pop in the second pot. Make sure it's nice and firm. Plenty of room there for the strawberries to grow. And that's the other thing. You do chew up a lot of plants, but if you buy these in bulk in a pot like this, when you take it out of the pot, you will find, in fact, that there's at least three, maybe four plants in there. So you get four plants for the price of one. Now that's a good saving. Now in our second layer, we can start to plant our chocolate mint. Choc mint, ready to go. I might put two plants in here. Leave plenty of room because we've got yet another pot of more strawberries and more chocolate to go. Looking fantastic. These will just cascade down. Great for a balcony because the footprint is so small. In a garden, it'll just take over. But in our little tower, it's well behaved and delicious. Now, here's a really cute little idea. Firstly, you'll need to get hold of a couple of these little cake tins, heart-shaped. Now, you can get these easily at homeware stores. We're going to plant ours out with some beautiful succulents. But first, we need to drill a couple of holes in the bottom just to make sure the drainage is perfect. And a quick coat of red paint. Let's fill it with some succulents. But first, we need some cactus and succulent mix. Don't use regular potting mix. These little fellows in. Such a lot of fun because they're all so different. Just like to squeeze another plant in the centre if we could, something a little bit smaller. Oh, there we go. And now the final touch some gravel, little red heart. Very cute. Succulents are also sun lovers and they require very little water. Maybe it's the perfume of the lavender and the flavours and the scents of the herbs, or possibly the strawberries coated with beautiful chocolate mint. You know, I think all three of them will show someone that you love that you really care.